with a acknowledgement for a guy who did a heap of work this weekend, um, completely kind of out of the blue, unprompted the lot. Um, this is the first of our prizes for the night. I'm calling it the uh, MacGyver Award. And this is for someone who, when we desperately needed him, it's uh, pretty important to have internet at an internet-oriented startup event. We lost that temporarily yesterday, as you all know. Um, but I would like to acknowledge James at AWS. He has been our Mr. Fix-It. Um, bailed us out then, and also obviously helping the, um, yeah, he and the plug guys with the video all weekend is just great. So, James. And it is actually first series MacGyver. <laughs> So I, there was a time back in uh, ooh, the late 90s when I, uh, I filled in on a late night slot on RTR and uh, that actually, the theme tune, featured in my, my uh, list of, of tunes that I played. Anyway, um, I hope everybody actually enjoyed the weekend. The, who had fun? Yeah. Awesome. Brilliant. Um, AWS is really, really pleased to be involved with this globally and locally uh, as a solution architect for Western Australia. Um, I've been thrilled to be here for as much of the weekend as I can and help you guys wherever I could get into and, and, and really push you in the right direction. Um, I wanted to find out who's managed to uh, burn through as much of their credit as possible? Who's really killed it? Yeah? So I've got a bunch of vouchers left. So anybody else who wants more credits, just come see me um, and I'll give them out to whoever wants to keep hacking on any project. Just come see me. Um, who broke the most amount of things? Other than the internet. <laughs> come on, there's got to be one. At the back there, come on down. <laughs> Our friends at Netflix released something called Chaos Monkey recently. Uh, so there is a Chaos Monkey shirt for you. Um, and uh, who was it who spent the most amount of money? Alex, <laughs> come on down. You get the ninja shirt. <laughs> There you go. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of the evening. Alex, before you go, I'm going to change my order here and go with my segue. This was going to come later. But um, the startup's prize for starting up a startup at a startup weekend is this money thing to put money in. Next prize is a guy who's not here, I don't think. Um, we've talked a lot about the sponsors over the weekend, the importance of them to the event. Um, in all honesty, it can't be understated. The money everyone pays for tickets, covers food, etc. It's the sponsors that make the thing tick. Um, in terms of our committee, Jay Coward put in the most phenomenal effort with the sponsors to, um, to get all that organised. He did a power of work. He was psyched about being near here. He came back from Bali early after his... Um, birthday party to be here, um, but in coming back from Bali, fell over around a pool, hurt his back and is bailed up at home. So we've got the award for peaking too early and we're going to give that to Jake. <laughs> and in peaking too early fashion, it's American Pie. <laughs> Couple of pitch awards now. Um, the dude who wore the frog helmet thing. <laughs> Where's he? And one of my personal favourites uh, didn't, I don't think, get a team, but I probably would have joined it if there was, was the matchmaking service for tight asses. <laughs> and here we've got a book from the $5 discount shop up on the mall. It's called If You Loved Me, You'd Think This Was Cute. Like to basketball team, you go like this, you keep one foot grounded, 
whereas their pivot was just kind of everywhere. <laughs> but they got somewhere cool in the end, and for them, we've got Back to the Future. <laughs> Almost there with prizes. Uh, next, I've got what we're calling the, I think it was, Golden Triangle Award for Best Marketing Slogan, which goes to the guys from Your Stop. No one wants to end up in Armadale. <laughs> George, in case you do end up in Armadale, this is your ticket. Thank you. Thank you. Also, <laughs> I think I'm very nearly there for my stuff. The next prize um, is going to a team. I'm going to make it up and call it the No Eat Friday GSD prize for building something fast that was really good that didn't crash. And that's going to the guys from Fedstar. but when we were kicking around revenue model ideas when I drove past their office where they're hacking away at two o'clock last night, um, Darcy's suggestion was um, we're going to sell pictures of kittens, I think, from memory. So we've got a <laughs> calendar of kittens too, which you guys can pull inspiration from. Um, very nearly there, I think, with these pseudo prizes. Um, my last ones are going to, or just acknowledgements to committee people, um, Marcus Tan, is there. Um, Mark was in charge of um, our mentor, it was our mentor Wrangler was his title, um, but he put together what was a pretty awesome list of mentors. The feedback I got, I tried to sort of sneak around and get takes from people on how they found the experience of the mentors, and I just heard so much glowing feedback, which was great, um, especially being a first event. The mentors probably had even knew even less about what to expect from this weekend than we did as committee. Um, but I hope the mentors had fun, and I can tell you for sure that uh, all the uh, all the participants got a lot out of uh, the advice. So we really appreciate that, and big thanks to Marcus for getting all that together. Since Black Day has got something serious coming, which is very exciting. Um, the other big thank you I want to give is to Brody, um, Space Cubed is an awesome venue. It's been terrific to be a part of that. And um, I think this is probably the, the fullest it's been yet in terms of capacity and stuff, and we've definitely, um, yeah, kind of owned it for the weekend. He's led us into his, his home, the organisation, Sam Seaver's home. Um, so we really appreciate that. A very small token of appreciation. I've not seen like a communal library around here yet, but I thought given they're um, motivated by collaboration and, and so on, we might start their communal library at Space Cube with a few books too. Um, so. We have some startup oriented things. I, Steve, about some guy who started a startup. <laughs> a book about case study about how it's worked in Israel, which has a huge startup scene thriving there. And of course, the Bible, which everyone has had rammed down their throats, whether they knew it or not, this weekend. <laughs> I got the last two copies of Kurt, sucked in. Um, <laughs> but you can order them by Amazon um, or become a member of Space Cubed and borrow theirs. Easy. Um, Ashley, I can see looking at Ashley, thank very sincerely for her work with Twitter Twitter over the weekend. I can also see Claire hiding behind too. She was fantastic, both as a mentor, a uh, general helper, I think probably won the hour, and the prize of most hours, logged as a, <coughs> a hand assistant, etc. And Ashley, I think coming in from Melbourne and Darcy too, wherever he is oh, no. somewhere. Oh, no. oh <laughs> it's like I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, I'm guessing, Dave is going to wrap me up now ish. That sounds very good to me. I'll make sure I have nothing else to do beforehand. <laughs> I do. A um, couple more quick guys. We've talked about sponsors again, like I said, a lot over the weekend. We had a couple of people who just chipped in with little things at the last minute. Um, this room stinks, in all honesty. The best it smelled for me all weekend was Saturday morning when there was very few people in here and a friend opened up the bag of coffee beans we had from Grand Central. That was truly awesome. So thanks to Grand Central for putting on the beans. 
Um, and thanks also to Darcy for manning that this morning. Um, John Haywood is one of the participants here, did a fantastic job. Um, I didn't get to see much of what John was doing, but in terms of his contribution to Startup Weekend, I can only tell you that it made my life about seven or eight times easier because he was good enough to come up to me at the launch event and say, hey, have you got food organised? I lied, trying to pretend I'm more organised than, than I am. And I said, yeah, of course we do. What do you think this is? Um, I didn't have it started. But he <laughs> said, my sister runs a catering business, um, does it from home. Um, she might be keen. And yeah, he got Peter involved. And I think everyone agreed, the food, the breakfast and lunches were just phenomenal. Um, so that was, yeah, I mean, I'm so glad John came up to me and said that at the launch event. That was just brilliant. Um, I've got business cards of Peter if anyone's having an event. She's a small business person as well, so if we could support her, that'd be cool. Let's give a round of applause. Woo! Um, and very last quick thanks. Um, there's a bunch of pictures been taken on Friday and in the process tonight. And Jordan is in fact just here. I was looking at the back for him. Um, thank you so much for coming down and doing the pictures. We'll whack them up on Facebook tomorrow and share them through all manner of things. <coughs> very much appreciated. And also the plug guys. Um, this event's been streamed live. This was something we didn't kind of chase it up for, but you just volunteered, and that's truly really awesome that we can share this with the world, um, and we can share it professionally now. There's some of, some of this is on YouTube, hopefully not this rambling speech. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'll just swear. Should have a presentation by the end of the evening. Yeah, which is just so awesome that everyone can share this. Like I've had an awesome time. I think everyone here's had an amazing time. But we can now share that with our friends and take it outside the room and um, hopefully inspire some more people in Perth. Um, I will leave everyone to grab a last drink, etc., if they like for now. But before I do that, I'll remember what Brody told me to say, which was, um, we've treated, you know, he's led us into his home. Um, if I can just ask for one quick favour um, before everyone does leave tonight, if you just pick up bits and pieces of junk you see, whack it in the middle of the room, we'll have a bunch of bins. If we can respect the fact that Brody has led us into his home and leave it as we would his home, that would be very much appreciated. It's been a long weekend for all of us. Um, respectfully, to all you participants who work hard, it's been longer for us organisers, so there. Um, make our lives easier, please. And um, yeah, just take that chore out of our hands. If we can pull 150 people together and do it, it's going to be a one minute job or a three hour job for a few of us in the night, so that'll be awesome if you could do that. Thank you. Thank you.